This is a video of all sorts of cars that I worked on through the years. And a lot of you have questions. Who is Ben Alameda? Which is quite uh, not really surprising. Nobody really knows of me, except maybe locally here. But uh, a lot of people are going, where did this guy come from? But anyway, he's just a sampling. And I've worked on uh, pack speak type uh, engines, four and five valve turbocharger and methanol to go up the, the hill there. I've done that to motorcycle cylinder heads, to endurance engines, to of course drag cars and stuff. Anyway, this is just a little sampling and uh, so that you guys would have a, an idea who I am. I've raced my own car too, but they are not here on this picture or on this videos, but I will soon enough as well do that. But anyway, Please enjoy, and uh, this is just a little uh, a glimpse of what I've been doing all these years. May I also add that on these videos of the race cars and trucks, the Maverick, then the Gata 66 Mustang, and the Toyota truck with a big block Chevy are the only ones with turbo, blower, and nitrous. Everything else here on the videos are all normally aspirated cars Ford or Chevrolet's please subscribe like and share we will take a look at Brian Henley's big block Chevy Maverick <laughs> this is Brad Udell and we teamed up uh, in a team called USA One, it's Udell, Sniff, and Alameda. The body was donated to us by South Speed Shop in Palmdale, California. And then at the same time, uh, it is a small block 9-2 uh, with uh, Glidden Victor heads, and it's NA. This is Dan Degata. The car is all stock, stock rear suspension with culvert bars, shock tower still in it on the front, and runs through the mufflers. Impressive, it's a 9-2 deck, AFR heads on a Super Victor 4150, carburetor, a flange carburetor, and uh, it's got a plate system. Port injected is not allowed. So we can only use a plate system for this thing. It weighs in at 3260 on legal uh, weight. And sometimes when we can strip it down, we can get down as, as low as 2900. This here with the Woods Fox body car, the way it looks years ago it's now completely different and i will be posting follow-ups when we start running at the track anyway this is na and at this point in time it was 3080 pounds because it has a mild steel cage all steel except the hood is fiberglass and also heavy 432 cubic inch small block ford blue thunder heads na and the whole combination has changed now, even the paint. The whole car should make a lot more power with two dominators on the sheet metal intake as opposed to a single dominator by CNJ carburetors and Santa Fe Springs. This is Erwin Corliar, Match Race Madness. Participant, we started the Ford versus Chevy, which goes on big today. It started as Ben Alameda Racing Engines versus Joe Sherman Racing Engines, and uh, it took off from there. And Irwin won a bunch of times, they won a bunch of times, and it's, uh, it keeps going strong until today. Small block Ford with blue thunder heads, approximately 440 cubic inches with two 1050 dominators on a sheet metal intake. NA.
This is Scott Wiley's big block single turbo Chevrolet. Fits in there real nice on that stock chassis. Very impressive. This is Dale Snow's car on the other lane, running at Santa Pod Raceway in England. It also has been to Japan and has won the uh, Hot Wheels contest. So uh, there's very few cars who could get the honor of being casted by Hot Wheels as a model. And this car is it. Showed up at Jay Leno, several magazines from all over the world, Japan, UK, Europe, uh, this car has been well traveled and will run mid to a little over uh, you know, 1060, 1070 on pump gas. So it's a 10 second street driven car. It's not a, uh, a garage princess or, or a trailer queen. It's driven and will run in the tents. This is Giovanni Puello's Fox Body Mustang with a prototype TFSR that with an intake port that's plated. It's raised about half an inch or a little bit over and it should show a lot of potential. We only have one pass on the video uh, because we're still breaking it in and trying to sort it out. But it's showing a lot of promise. That launch right there is like 2500 RPM. And it should launch about close to 6,000 plus. Small block Ford. It's a TFSR with race ports. The intake port has been raised about half an inch. As you can see with the spacer there. Put on. So this is flowing a whole bunch from the factory. Here's another picture. We need a 28-28 manifold. But for now, I had to open up. The 4150 with a dominator adapter, I had to open it up big time because it's got a lot more airflow. And there you can see the spacer. And I had to use a TFS thermostat housing. And I had to modify the uh, Super Victor and cut it apart from the bottom. As you can see right here, there's a plate underneath there. Okay. And I had to chop off part of the thermostat housing there where the thermostat usually sits and the new style modified with exiting off the heads for the water this is Jim Johnson's small block Chevy methanol injected Lenko it's NA no nitrous or anything and it runs in the deep in the eights Anyway, and it weighs all steel. It weighs about 3250. It is not light by any means. It's about a 415 cubic inch small block Chevy. Injected. As you can see, the injectors are there. And it's got a lot of plumbing. It runs on methanol. It's got a lot of horsepower. And by the time we lighten this car, it should run deep, deep in the eights. Right now at 3,200 pounds, it'll run in the tens, in the, in the 870 range. Okay, so it'll go way faster than that. If we would cut down 200 pounds, 300 pounds, and have this thing weighing at 2850, it would go low eights, mid to low eights. What you look at is two of my cars, Jim Johnson's 415 cubic inch small block Chevy on methanol and injected with Lenko and Irwin uh, in a small block Ford Blue Thunder dual dominator uh, 440 cubic inch. Both of them are NA.
you're looking at Burt's Fox Mustang and Irwin's uh, first generation uh, Mustang. <laughs> This is a little pictorial of some of the cars that I had uh, worked on and uh, please uh, subscribe, like and share to Ben Alameda Racing here on YouTube. This is Tremaine Harris with his Mustang Fox and it's um, it's got TFS heads in it. Pretty impressive. There's a giant wheel stand. I will try to see if I can find videos of this car. Ken Donaldson from, I think he lives somewhere in Simi Valley or somewhere in that area. Anyway, there's a V6 Buick engine in this thing that I built. This is back in the early 90s. Getting some airtime there. Trucks pretty fast in the open desert. He built his own truck him and his friends off their chassis uh, shop in the valley. It's one of the chase trucks I worked on. It's powered by a 454 small block Ford that I did an article on on Facebook and YouTube. The Dynapole making 600 horsepower on pump gas. is owned by a different company right now very impressive beautifully built nice nice chassis the best of everything That is all, folks. Thank you very much. Hugh DeWitt's car. We drag it on the trailer to go on an event. And a friend of mine, Cheeto Solomon's RS200. Rare. That's a badass rally car from Ford. All tube frame. Very impressive. John. My gosh, I forgot his last name. He won Fun Ford Weekend 2003 and I think 2004. Twice he won a Ford Nationals event with one of my engines. So uh, this is a pretty clean car and runs very good to have won two national events. That's pretty good. Normally aspirated. This is Jesse's car from San Bernardino. The story with this one was it was 427 inches and we can get it to hook in Las Vegas. So I did stroke the engine from 427 inches, taking the stroke out from 4 inches to 3.5. Went the same horsepower at the back wheel, but at like 1200 RPM higher on, at peak. Here it is, mean green color. There's all the plumbing. This car ran 7.9, low 8s on a 10.5 tire. There's the plumbing. Very impressive. Adam Saruwatari, one of the standout import racers from the late 80s, early 90s. And I did a cylinder head and I think an intake manifold. A man is very secretive, can't get much information. Did the heads for him. I wonder if he ran it. I don't even know what he's doing right now, but this guy was backed up by Acura. 
Japan and uh, a very impressive uh, trailer everything so I wonder what's going on or whatever happened to him shout out to Eric Del Rosario of LA two-time NHRA event winner in import racing I did some cylinder heads for him years ago and modified a stock intake that worked out real well has run eight seconds in New Jersey and this is oh my god 1990 that's a long long time ago but nevertheless he ran it pretty impressive this is the crew at the starting line I this is someplace this is not local this is probably from far away but anyway those were the good times not a Bronco fuel injected Greg Chapman Palmdale California this truck is nice beautifully done here's another picture gorgeous this is a Bronco small block Ford fuel injected old school Broncos are very impressive light and they can this thing here has got some good power and as far as I know it's still running until today Here's the Bronco, another one during some rock climbing and I've done the engine on this thing and it's still running until today, amazing. They are from Silver Lake, Silver Lake area, west of Los Angeles. This is Vanny Garcia and the W Auto Sports back in the Philippine Islands, I went down there and paid him a visit and we ran together and we did some stuff and I'll see if I have the video of that but you can find a better bunch of guys uh, Vanny and his team with staging lanes um, it's a really enjoyed them and uh, I should like to come down there and visit with them again but this is all the way from the Philippine Islands Jameson Suarez has raced with me for many many years here he is with his uh, Fox body. That's a two bolt main block at that time. Went 938 in Las Vegas at like 2,900, almost 3,000 pounds. All steel, just a fiberglass hood. And the car is a street car basically, and it's pretty fast. 930 out of a two bolt main is fast. And that was, uh, oh gosh, 1900. 1995, 98, something like that. Romeo Uritia, road racing Mustang. This is pretty impressive. Suspension mods and all. It's got a supercharged 306 in it. Impressive road racer. From Los Angeles. This is Ray Choi on the right side with his. Uh, 10 second convertible NA and the one on the left is a Mexican block 347 and this thing runs 980 990 streetcar supercharged Vortec small block from Pomona can't tell you his name Roy Estrada with a street convertible Mustang pulling the front wheels <laughs> very impressive from Pasadena Richard Silverio from Phoenix Arizona there's a 1030 fuel injected supercharged streetcar from the Phoenix area I will be doing some videos on this thing so uh, we're redoing the car and like I said 1030 up there at high altitude in the hot desert that's one fast machine Everything works in this thing. It's not stripped down. Ray Joy of Los Angeles. This is a 436 or 432 Stroker Windsor. Fuel injected. This thing will run in the low 11s, high 10s, the way it is. Heavy, all steel, no lightning. AC, everything works. NA, Stroker 351. Mark Christensen with his 11R 
headed small block forward 351 stroker 9 second low 10 with a mild combination Broco Mike from Silver Lake small block forward looks good lots of fiberglass parts on this thing very light Nick Tishlosian from Glendale this is a fast car 1060 on the motor street car he used to drive this to Glendale College and around people unsuspectingly think it's a 12 second car but it's a solid 1060 1070 on the motor stroker 432 cu cubic inch carburetor it's not really that light it's all uh, mild steel roll cage and all that but it's a 10 second car running on the street or streets Hector DeSanto has got a cast iron dart head in it on a 306 went 930s at the street legal race in Pomona shocked everybody because they saw this cast iron heads not even aluminum head and this is back in 1995 I think yeah went 930s through the muffler license plate and everything very impressive nitrous 306 please subscribe like and share